Uh, Armin, Juan Guaido has talked about this deadline, February 23rd, to make sure that international aid gets in. How concretely is that going to happen and why so long? Well, at the moment, uh, about 250,000 volunteers have signed up to uh, deliver this aid. Guaido says that it will be picked up in caravans and cross the border from collection points in Brazil and Colombia. Essentially, what he's doing is giving an order to the army uh, because, of course, the National Assembly a point named him interim uh, pro, uh, interim president. So he's basically saying to the army, look, the assembly uh, has appointed me interim president. Uh, you must now uh, follow what I'm ordering, which is to allow this aid to come through uh, the border. Um, the question, of course, is will the army actually do that? But Maduro is kind of, pu uh, sorry, um, Guaido is pushing the envelope out a bit more testing what the army will do and also crucially testing whether Maduro will effectively countermand that order. So far Maduro has kind of tried to avoid issuing too many orders because they might be disobeyed and then that would be, be the beginning of the end of Maduro's authority. So essentially Guaido is testing that, seeing what Maduro will do and seeing what the army will do on February the 23rd. Now President Maduro's argument is that accepting this international aid would just open the door to a possible military intervention from the U.S., so doesn't he have a point? Well, let's fact check that. I mean, where is the evidence of a U.S. military buildup? Um, according to some estimates, it would take 100,000 U.S. troops to invade Venezuela. Wouldn't someone have spotted preparations with 100,000 troops by now? Uh, so, um, you know, there's there's some pretty outlandish rhetoric out there coming from, from Maduro. But I suppose, in a way, he is playing to a broader concern about the U.S. trying to reassert its influence in a region where it has lost influence through 20 years of left-wing rule in various Latin American countries. Um, and certainly when you look at the sort of rhetoric of democracy promotion coming from U.S. administration officials, you know, people like Mike Pence saying it's time to free Venezuela, bring back democracy. You can see why people who are not even Maduro supporters are wary of that kind of talk, because if the U.S. was really about democracy promotion, why don't we hear that kind of talk from the U.S. in relation to Honduras? Why don't we hear that kind of talk from the U.S. in relation to Guatemala? Why is it specifically Venezuela? Perhaps the answer is because the U.S. is trying to reassert that control in the in in this hemisphere. Um, but in any case, this is all kind of a geopolitical look at U.S. rhetoric. The immediate concern, of course, for Venezuelans is to get that humanitarian aid through, regardless of ultimately where it's coming from. Thanks for that, France Twenty Four's international affairs editor Armin Georgian.